Hey guys, Rortec Admin here, back with Windows NT. Today we're going to be trying to install Service Pack 6 as well as the 6A rollup and some other software just to see how modern and usable we can make Windows NT for. So uh, let's get to it. You see here I have a folder called Software. I've already put all the software I need on the computer. So here we have the Service Pack 6 update. This is the Service Pack 6A update. This is Opera 9. I'm thinking this may be the most modern browser I'll be able to use. This install MSI is the Microsoft Installer 2.0. I've also got Flash Player 9 and 7. I'm not sure if either of these are going to work, but we're going to give it a shot and try to get YouTube working. So uh, let's get started installing. Here are the Service Pack 6 update. I'm going to accept the um, license agreement and hit install. And there you go, we're done. <laughs> if only service pack installations went that fast in Windows 7. Okay, so uh, this whole sequence of software installs is going to require a lot of restarts, so I'm probably going to fast forward through all of that. So uh, hold your hat, because here we go. Alright, I'm now going to try to install Opera 9, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, I love the uh, picture here. <laughs> that guy looks like he's having a really good time with Opera. Let's see, accept, Opera 9, next, um, next, install. Okay, that looks like it worked just fine. Finish. Ah, there we go. So that's Opera installed. Okay, we're just going to accept on that. Uh, I'll play around with this later. We're going to try to install Flash next. I'm going to start with 7. Or I'm going to start with 9, rather. And if that doesn't work, we'll try 7. Uh, failed to install. Great. Uh, didn't really expect 9 to work, but we're going to give 7 a try. Uh, install. Okay, so that did finish. Uh, let's... Uh, yeah, we can make that the default browser. Ugh, is it going to ask me this every time? I don't know what that really means, but... Something about certificates. Let's try uh, a flash test to see if... Flash is actually working. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm so used to modern browsers, there's no searching from the URL bar. Okay, so this little test page here says that Flash is installed. So, uh, let's try a YouTube video. Unfortunately, after quite a bit of work, I was unable to get Flash to work in any capacity. But, Opera 9 is working great, and I can visit pretty much any website, and it works just as you would expect. Compare that to uh, what was installed by default, which is IE 2.0. And uh, nothing worked in that except for Google partially. Uh, but aside from some certificate issues, which can be a bit annoying, um, the web pages do load and they are at least mostly usable, which is good. Okay, so now that we have a browser installed, let's try to get Office installed. I actually have an old copy of Office 97, a physical copy. Um, and I've ripped an ISO from the disk and I have it inserted in the virtual machine so we're gonna go ahead and install that now this should work no problem because Office 97 was designed to work on Windows NT as well as Windows 95 so this should be no issue alright it wants my CD key so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in real quick and I will see you on the other side alright I got the product key put in or the CD key rather and we are ready to install. Alright, so that is Office 97 installed. Let's, uh, let's fire it up and see what it does. And we now have Outlook installed as well, by the way. 
Uh, oh, and it gives us setup for Internet Explorer 3.0. Let's go ahead and install that. Uh, yes. Uh, of course, we got to restart. Be right back. All right, we are back from our reboot. This should be Internet Explorer 3 now, but um, let's go ahead and open Office instead. So let's see, uh, let's try Word first. And we have our good buddy Clippy here. Um, we're just going to tell him we're going to start using the, uh, the program. We don't need any help. So uh, yeah, there you go. It's just Microsoft Word from yesteryear. I mean, it works just just as you would expect. Pretty similar to the current versions, uh, just not quite as advanced. There you go. This is a sentence. So that is Word. Let's go ahead and open uh, PowerPoint. Uh, we'll do a blank presentation. Oh, he's gonna. Okay, Clippy. All right. Uh, auto layout. Yeah, first one. Oops. Can't spell. There we go. So there's our slide show. It's just one slot. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try a different program. Uh, Excel, sure. There we go, it's Excel. Do 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 do. Cancel. Uh, we're gonna start. Thanks. So we've got 123 there, and we've got uh, 148 there, and we're gonna do a auto sum. Of those two check and there you go so our math works let's change this to bigger number and it updates check so Excel works just as you would expect that's cool okay so um, that works now let's try out the updated Internet Explorer um, no Oh, okay, it doesn't even open before we get a, uh, or it doesn't fully open before we get a JavaScript error. Let's just ignore that. It's time to upgrade your browser. Really, Microsoft? We're going to explore 9. We're going to update to 9. Well, I guess that would be a bit of an improvement. Uh, let's try going to Google. And it mostly works. The formatting is kind of broken, but everything seems to be here. Um... Google search. Hey, there we go. So it does at least somewhat work, just like uh, Internet Explorer 2. Let's try another website. Uh, let's try Reddit. Oh! <laughs> and it crashed. Dr. Watson for Windows NT. An application error has occurred. An application error log is being generated. And it gives us the error codes. So IE2 didn't crash, at least. This one seems to be a bit off the off the mark. Let's try um I can type. Let's try Yahoo. Um cannot open that. Cannot connect to server. Well that's strange. Let's try Hmm, let's try. Nope. Can't do that. Google image search. Search for uh, images of, of tacos. Yes. That works perfectly. Actually, the formatting on this page looks like it's almost correct. I mean, it looks good to me. Let's look at this taco. Ooh. Oh. Okay, never mind. Oh, Jesus. I just wanted to view the image. Yeah, I think I'll be sticking with Opera. It seems to work a little better. We do have um, Outlook here. Uh, it's wanting me to set an area. Let's see. OK. 
Okay, there we go. So this is Outlook version. Old as crap. Okay. Um, go away, Cliffy. Jesus. You want to turn on Word as your email editor now? No, we'll just leave it as whatever it is by default. So here, oh, we have a nice email from the Office 97 team. Or the Outlook 97 team. So yeah, it's kind of what the what Outlook look would have looked like back in 1997. We've got a journal. That's cool. Calendars here. Contacts. Yeah, we're going to delete this message, and then, up oh, there it is. That's cool. Um, not really. <laughs> anyway, that's kind of it. Uh, I know it wasn't super exciting or interesting, but we did at least get a somewhat modern browser working, so that was pretty cool. And I did get it updated to the latest service packs, so that was good as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for Windows NT. If you have any ideas for anything you'd like to see me do with it, any software you'd like me to install, just drop me a comment. Maybe I'll make a video doing that. But um, other than that, I think I'm going to be moving on from Windows NT and finding something uh, something new, something else. I may try Windows ME, which is notoriously bad, or I may go even older and try Windows NT 3.1 or uh, whatever it is. I know it's, there's, I think there was 3.1 and 3.51 or two older versions of Windows NT, but anyway, uh, that's it for this time guys, so uh, take it easy, and until next time, later.